The James Webb Space Telescope is upsetting the apple cart. Are you ready for a space adventure like no other? Get ready to explore the depths of our solar system as renowned physicist Michio Kaku unveils the James Webb Telescope's most incredible image of Pluto to date. Well, I think these pictures are spectacular. They're breathtaking. With stunning clarity, we can now see this dwarf planet in unprecedented detail, revealing secrets and mysteries beyond our wildest imagination. Join us as we embark on an unforgettable journey to the outer reaches of our solar system and discover the wonders of Pluto like never before. So buckle up and get ready to blast off into the universe, because this is a journey you won't want to miss. First, exoplanet discovery. Hang on tight as we take you on a journey of a lifetime. The disclosure of the first exoplanet by the James Webb Telescope four months ago was a significant game-changer in the chase after extraterrestrial life. The fact that the exoplanet, known as LHS 475b, is located in the star's proper zone means that the conditions on this planet may indeed support life. It orbits a star similar to our Sun and is around the size of Earth. It is located about 40 light-years from Earth and requires around two days to finish one circle. What makes this revelation much more momentous is that the James Webb Telescope had the option to affirm the exoplanet's presence utilizing just a solitary travel. This is a significant accomplishment, as it implies that the telescope is fit for identifying even the littlest exoplanets. The James Webb Telescope's travel method recognizes a little decrease in the brightness of the star, showing that a planet is crossing it. In this example, the James Webb Telescope found a decline in the star's brightness by just a tad, hence confirming the exoplanet's presence. However, it didn't stop there. It likewise estimated the air of the planet, which showed that hydrogen and helium make up most of it. This is a huge improvement, since it implies the telescope can now look at exoplanet environments exhaustively, which might uncover significantly more about the planet's properties. The James Webb Telescope has begun a new era in the mission for exoplanets beyond our planetary group with its fantastic discovery. It really is an exciting time for all astronomy lovers. Unveiling the Mysteries of Neptune Although the latest pictures of Pluto taken by the James Webb Telescope have taken the Internet by storm, we should not forget the iconic pictures it first took of Neptune. Let's take a trip down Discovery Lane. The eighth planet from the Sun, Neptune, is renowned for its stunning blue tone and its complicated atmospheric elements. Furthermore, now that the James Webb Telescope is completely functional, we can see the planet clearer than ever before. The new and upgraded photos of Neptune's rings are perhaps of the most captivating discoveries made by the telescope. These rings, which are made out of ice and little rocks, have complex developments and contain movements that have puzzled researchers for quite some time. But thanks to the James Webb Telescope's cutting-edge equipment, we can now learn these perplexing rings better. The new pictures show us that Neptune's rings are not only a basic static design, instead they are an intricate and dynamic framework that changes in the long run. The pictures reveal that the rings are composed of around five unmistakable components, each with its own interesting properties and developments. A portion of these components are somewhat steady and stable. Meanwhile, the rest appear more unique and variable. By analyzing the information gathered, researchers have found new parts inside the rings, which had recently slipped through the cracks. The intricate and dynamic nature of the rings has also been revealed, with brightness and density patterns indicating a complex system in motion. This newly discovered information gives significant insights into the arrangement and development of planetary rings. The pictures captured by the James Webb Telescope have given us a better understanding of Neptune's moons and their link to the planet's rings. Researchers believe that these moons were crucial in the evolution and development of the rings. We can better understand the origins and evolution of this interesting system by doing a thorough investigation of these moons and rings. In short, the latest insights provided by the James Webb Telescope have provided us with a detailed view of the fragile relationship between Neptune, its moons, and rings. But these aren't the only fascinating features of this planet. 
The telescope has caught pictures of huge, whirling storms, including the famous Great Dark Spot that was first seen by Voyager 2 during the 1980s. These storms are mostly caused by Neptune's strong winds. Moreover, the pictures showed that Neptune's environment contains huge amounts of methane, which gives the planet its unique blue tone. The planet may mostly seem dark in the pictures taken by the telescope, except for where its infamous methane clouds are present. These clouds reflect daylight and show up as bright little streaks and spots in the picture. The infrared picture also reveals a faint luminous band encircling the equator. The image also contains pictures of seven out of Neptune's 14 known moons. The most prominent moon, the one which you can never miss, is Triton, which is the biggest and brightest as it reflects lots of light from the sun, making it easier to capture. Methane also plays a vital role in the planet's weather conditions and assists with managing its temperature. All scientists do is study the relationship of methane with other gases in order to get a clearer picture of the planet's weather and temperature conditions. So there was never any doubt that the telescope's ability to fetch us incredible pictures of Pluto, which will expand our knowledge of this dwarf planet. The images captured by the telescope have also inspired awe and wonder, reminding us of the incredible beauty and complexity of our universe. The James Webb Telescope's discovery reveals groundbreaking information about Pluto. The James Webb Telescope has a new mountain to climb, and that is to track the abrupt changes that have taken place on the dwarf planet Pluto. Scientists have noticed that Pluto's atmosphere is disappearing, quite literally, but they're not really sure why. Scientists have been observing Pluto and its thin, largely nitrogen-filled hemisphere using telescopes in the United States and Mexico to study this event in detail. Pluto's atmosphere contains vapor pressure of the ice that is scattered across its surface. This is very similar to that of our very own planet. The atmosphere of Pluto will immediately change and become more dense if its ice begins to overheat. This is more or less exactly what seems to be happening but with a twist. Over the past 25 years, Pluto's distance from the Sun has increased, which has resulted in a decrease in temperature. This decrease in temperature is making Pluto's environment refreeze back onto its surface, making it vanish. Pluto's distance from the Sun makes it unlikely that this gradual temperature decrease will soon come to a halt. The problem will continue to deteriorate as Pluto actually proceeds to become colder and move farther away from the Sun. And now, Pluto is stuck in an endless loop called thermal inertia, which has led Pluto to accumulate heat from when it used to be closer to the Sun and caused its surface pressure and atmosphere's density to rise until 2018. But now, it seems that Pluto's environment is vanishing, which is a stunning revelation that changes how we might interpret how dwarf planets work. As Pluto's atmosphere slowly disappears, we can't help but wonder how scientists were able to discover all of this information by simply noticing Pluto as it crossed a star. The key is a method called occultation. This approach has nothing to do with the occult, despite what you might be thinking. It actually occurs when two cosmic objects cross in front of one another, with one hidden behind the other. This method has been used by researchers to explore and understand Pluto since the late 1980s. Using occultation, scientists observed the rate at which the star passed by Pluto. This barely lasted for about two minutes. With this information, they were able to measure the density of Pluto's atmosphere. With the help of this information, they were able to look into Pluto's slim, nitrogen-dominated hemisphere and the ice's surface fume tension. Pluto has some nitrogen on its surface that keeps its atmosphere in place. This nitrogen is warm because of heat stored under the surface. But now, as Pluto is getting colder, this nitrogen is starting to cool off. So more and more of the atmosphere will freeze and disappear into oblivion. Pluto's atmosphere is cooling down. This is because the residual heat that it had gathered when it was closer to the sun is starting to die down. It's like how the hot sand on a beach cools down as the day passes by. The discovery of Pluto's mysterious change and the disappearing atmosphere is a true testament to how much power the importance of observation holds. This has helped us in making technological breakthroughs which eventually have made it possible for us to study and understand more about our universe. And that's not all. With the help of the James Webb Telescope, scientists have now been able to look inside the heart of Pluto. Pluto's heart, a frozen wonder, 
coming towards the dwarf planet that we have all been waiting for. The latest discoveries made by the James Webb Telescope about Pluto are nothing short of fascinating. Pluto may be a small planetoid, but it is certainly not lacking in stunning and mysterious features. One of its most iconic and fascinating features is the heart-shaped region observed on its surface, known as the Tombaugh Regio. This region is covered by carbon monoxide ice and has a landform that resembles an ice cream cone shape. Sputnik Planum, another centered area, is situated in the center of this heart-shaped crater, also referred to as the Heart of Pluto. Scientists are still trying to solve the mystery of why there are craters in this area, because no causes have been identified for them. The Sputnik Planum is quite young, possibly around 100 million years old, on the geological time scale. However, scientists have suggested that it is yet to attain its permanent shape, as geological processes can continually change it. In addition to this, it is believed that the odd dark stripes that have been seen on Pluto's icy plate's surface are the result of winds blowing across the planet. These stripes and patterns can also be seen on Earth's surface. People from all around the world have been fascinated by Pluto's heart-shaped region, and it is fascinating to think that Pluto, even with its icy temperatures, has a heart much like the rest of us. And that's not all. According to scientists, Pluto's actions are controlled by its heart, just when we thought astronomy could not get any more interesting. The left ventricle of Pluto's heart is a vast nitrogen glacier that covers up to a million square miles. This heart, also known as Sputnik Planitia, forced the dwarf planet to reorient itself to face its moon, Charon, on its opposite side. This phenomenon is known as true polar wonder, which occurs when a planetary body changes its spin axis in response to significant geologic processes. The current position of Sputnik Planitia acts as a cold trap, where nitrogen ice accumulates to create an ice sheet that is at least 2.5 miles or 4 kilometers thick. The weight of this massive ice sheet creates an imbalance that, combined with Charon's gravitational pull, causes Pluto to tip and align its basin more closely with the tidal axis between it and Charon. Pluto's repositioning, caused by the gravitational pull of its moon, Charon, had more consequences than just a change in orientation. The process, known as true polar wonder, was responsible for the cracking of Pluto's surface and the creation of massive faults that stretch across large parts of the planet. It is believed that the basin that resulted from the process was previously positioned farther from the North Pole to the northwest of where it is now. Despite this shift, Pluto is not yet free from the influence of Charon. Should ice continue to accumulate on the basin, the dwarf planet will continue to reorient itself. This ongoing process is a unique phenomenon in our solar system. Another surprising feature of Pluto's frozen surface is the presence of dunes made up of solid methane ice grains molded by the wind. Contrary to sand dunes on Earth, methane ice grains make up the majority of Pluto's dunes. Dunes may be found on several of the planets in our solar system, which may surprise many of you. Earth, Mars, Venus, and Titan, a moon of Saturn, are only a few of them. The dunes on Pluto, however, stand out since it seems likely they have not been changed in the last 500,000 years. Pluto's distinctive features will definitely continue to capture our imaginations, and of generations to come. It will increase our understanding of the universe as we continue to study its mysteries. How was Pluto formed? Pluto might be one of the coldest places in the universe today, but that doesn't mean it hasn't had a hot and violent past. Pun intended. Scientists now know that the dwarf planet's origin story may have been much more chaotic than we previously thought. Scientists have discovered evidence suggesting that Pluto may have developed hot rather than cold by analyzing the huge quantity of photos captured by the New Horizon spacecraft. Crazy, right? This new discovery challenges previous theories that an ancient subsurface sea slowly formed over millions of years. Instead, the team of scientists found extensional features on the surface of Pluto, suggesting that it may have undergone a short and violent start, which led to an early ocean. The team's computer models also showed that if Pluto had started cold and the ice had melted internally, it would have contracted, and there would have been signs of compression fractures on its surface. The evidence, however, suggests that this was not the case 
and that the dwarf planet had a fiery beginning. In light of this, it appears that Pluto's past is far more fascinating and explosive than we ever could have imagined. Pluto, once thought to be a dormant and icy world, has surprised scientists with its dynamic features. Recent discoveries suggest that the dwarf planet might have had a fiery start, with evidence of a subsurface ocean that could have been formed by a short and violent beginning. But how did Pluto get so hot? Scientists combed through data from the New Horizons spacecraft to investigate the origins of Pluto. They discovered that the dwarf planet's bizarre surface features, such as sculpted valleys and mountains, can reveal details about its formation. Through computer modeling, the team found evidence of extensional features that point to the fact that a short and violent start could have given way to an early ocean. But what caused Pluto to heat up in the first place? There are two possible explanations energy from radioactive decay or impact heating. The scientists calculated that impact heating was the more likely scenario as the heat from radioactive decay would have escaped into space if Pluto's formation took too long. This means that Pluto's formation was a brisk affair, taking only about 30,000 years in the grand timeline of the universe. Pluto is a fascinating dwarf planet with many unique features. One of its most striking characteristics is the actively flowing glaciers made of nitrogen ice that create valleys stretching across its surface. These glaciers behave differently than the water ice glaciers found on Earth. Any melt within them won't fall to the bottom of the glacier, but instead rises to the top because liquid nitrogen is denser than solid nitrogen. Jets or geysers may erupt as a result of this. Water ice, which is somewhat less dense than nitrogen ice, makes up most of Pluto's surface. As the glaciers course through the surface, some of the water ice rocks rise up through the glacier and float like icebergs. The largest known glacier on Pluto is Sputnik Planitia, which stretches for over 620,000 miles, about the combined size of Oklahoma and Texas. Finally, when examining photos of Pluto, one will notice a network of strange-looking polygonal shapes in the ice. These cells are not less than six miles across and are evidence of Pluto's internal heat attempting to escape from underneath the glacier. Sounds cool, right? The upwelling and downwelling of nitrogen ice in these cells creates a mesmerizing effect, similar to a hot lava lamp. Warm ice rises up into the center of the cells while cold ice sinks along their margins. This is a unique phenomenon, unlike anything found in Earth's glaciers or anywhere else in the solar system. Is there life on Pluto? Given Pluto's hostile climate, it is extremely unlikely that life could exist there. Pluto has extremely low temperatures that prevent any liquid, including water, from existing in its natural state. A number of different gases and chemicals have been frozen in the planet's surface for years. Some of them are nitrogen, methane, and carbon monoxide. Pluto's air pressure is between one million and multiple times lower than Earth's, making it hard for life withstanding its outrageous temperatures. However, this doesn't dismiss the chance of life surviving inside the planet. It may be a possibility in some areas where conditions might be better. So does this mean there is a possibility of other beings living on Pluto? While researchers have not figured out what sort of life can be found on Pluto, they believe that other beings might be inhibiting the planet later on. Pluto's inside structure consists of a minimal rough center surrounded by an ice mantle. The ice layer is believed to be somewhere in the range of 100 and 180 kilometers thick, though the center is around 1,700 kilometers in breadth. Researchers are expecting that the eventual decay of radioactive components will ultimately warm up the ice layer significantly to break it up from the rocky center, creating a liquid river of water inside Pluto. Pluto's surface is too cold, and its air isn't suitable for life to exist, yet researchers believe that later on these circumstances could change, and Pluto could uphold life, and on the off chance that this does occur, it would be the absolute worst thing for Earth. And this isn't even the worst part. Pluto is presently beyond our nearby solar system's habitable zone, yet a time will come when the sun will increase in size tenfold and form into a red monster, consuming everything in sight. The sun will gear itself to move into a subgiant phase and gradually double in size over the following 500 million years until the core hydrogen is used up.
The habitable zone will move outward as the sun gets bigger and consumes the inner planets, including Earth. Ouch! The sun will be so hot by then that the Earth will be hotter than Venus today. As if predicting its own grand finale, the sun will keep expanding for another half a billion years, becoming more than 200 times larger than its current size. The sun will thereafter lose a third of its mass, as if giving in to its own weight, making Pluto and other celestial bodies experience a considerable increase in temperature. The sun takes center stage in this cosmic dance of life and death, and everything in its surrounding area is affected by its magnificent performance. However, that does not mean that life on Pluto will evolve from scratch, but we will have to transport it to the dwarf planet in a more interstellar fashion. Earth and Pluto may not be all that different. Did you know that Pluto and Earth share a potentially surprising characteristic? Both have beautiful blue skies. Pluto's surface appears reddish-brown in NASA images, while its atmosphere has a murky blue color. Scientists discovered this intriguing fact through information gathered by the New Skylines shuttle during its flyby. The blue shade of Pluto's sky is brought about by the presence of a unique molecule called tholine. As weird as this name sounds, these particles form when sunlight triggers chemical reactions between nitrogen and methane in the atmosphere. Although they are likely gray or red, they scatter blue light, making it more visible to our eyes. On Earth, tiny nitrogen molecules scatter sunlight to create the blue sky, but on Pluto, the particles are relatively larger and are called folates. This is an astonishing discovery that shows us how even the tiniest particles can form wonderful colors and hues in our universe. It also makes us realize how little we actually know about the planets in our solar system, let alone the Milky Way. This excites us for all the amazing discoveries that are yet to be made about our universe.